Hey, y'all. It's the shade. I don't know. It's interesting because the way the shade is right here, you can see me better. All right, y'all. Tomorrow's another day. I wanted to say goodnight. I didn't want to abruptly just hang up, but patience. Yeah, she's kicking my butt. She's kicking my butt. She's kicking my butt. She is. She's kicking my butt. Patience. That's what she's doing. But, my butt. I'm going to put on my comfortable clothes. Patience is kicking my butt. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prevail. Because you're right. This is about patience. This is saying, hey. You know, you try something. And you got to try something else. And uh, hooray for trying. And I try and doing. And it's all working because those two will be in the other place and that'll be all intimate and ambiance. And then this will have the other shades and it'll be beautiful. It's just that simple. That's it. And you'll be fine because you have a beautiful house. And I am going to stay up a little bit. Okay, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to stay up a little bit. Let me just tell you what I'm going to do. I want you to know because it's me. And it's interesting because the focus of the light, it looks great right here. Like, I mean, I'm on, this is like a spotlight. It's like a spotlight. I can pretend like I'm on stage. I, had, I was in a play like this. It looked just like this, actually. It's so funny. It was dark and it just had a spotlight. And then you do your soliloquy. <laughs> This could be like this. It is deep. You can do so. I, I got a poem or two coming out from this room. So, no, I mean, we, we laughing, but y'all, I really think it is like, it's like, this is womb. This is the nine month gestation I just got in. And I ain't coming back out for nine months. Like, this is, this, when they say deep, this is deep. This is deep. Like, this is like, wow. This is like ancestors talking. I tell y'all, I kid you not. I, I wish I was like exaggerating. Like, I, I almost need time to process that word again. That who, big truck riding down. I'm like, wow, this truck is so big. Like, what's the company? Like, I don't see trucks a lot. I don't see that many really trucks in, in our car like you would think I would. And then a big truck like that, and the only words, there was nothing on the side that I could see. I couldn't even tell you what kind of truck it was. But the only words on the truck, I mean, this is some, I, my ancestors, I'm so glad I'm sharing this, was patience. Not on the side, not in the back. On the front, on the top, like somebody almost rode it. Huge, P A T I E N C E. I, I never, and I'm so glad I'm documenting this because even as I'm telling y'all, it sounds surreal. I, I, uh, it's like I'm. This is happening to me, but I can't believe. It don't feel like it's happening to me. I feel like I'm in a dream, and somebody hasn't woke me up yet. I feel like I made that whole thing up, but it did happen, and I told y'all, and I told you right away. I know I've had signs before, but I cannot remember it coming that clear. I couldn't believe what I was saying. And it's almost like, remember I said, I said something yesterday when I was doing the women's, International Women's Circle. I said that I know I heard that your ancestors have your back. But they also have your front as well. They're guiding and leading. I felt like the signs today was more about everything that it was happening today that I was going to have to have patience with. And that, that this was the time. And also I got a, a little premonition too that if I learned this patience lesson with people, especially the people, especially, because you're right, that's my thing, that I will be a better person, that I will manifestations, uh, people, places, and things will come into my life like never, ever before. That it's about to be a major breakthrough. I feel that. I mean, right now I got to have patience. I'm in Ghana. Why are they playing some rap music? This shit is in front of my house. Do you hear this rap music? I don't like rap music, so do you I?
this some this some patience. This is everywhere you go patience. And it was funny, so I told you Kwame was, it was so beautiful. Kwame was in his mood, and I told you I wasn't like me. I was like Kwame. I think it's late. We should go home. Forget the other thing. And he was like, "Do you know he came to me?" But we were cool. So he came to me. He sat down, and he said, "I want to apologize." You're right. You you I didn't do you didn't do a one thing. You didn't do anything. But it was my reaction that allowed him to say that. Because I wasn't, I knew that this was a test. Like, oh, not even a test, but kind of, I knew that this was a reaction that I needed not to have anymore. I really was okay because I was compassionate that everybody has bad days. And I know he don't, I've seen him do this before. It's not a lot, but when it comes, it looks just like this. And so that's, that's his thing in a way. And I have to accept that, that. It's just a moment. You don't know what he's going through. He never shares. Kwame never tells me about problems. Ever. Never. Ever. I've never heard him say, you know, I got a problem, or this is the problem. Never. So who knows what's going on in his head. So I, and uh, he came back and apologized. Yeah, and we went. I ate, and he sat, and we had peace and calmness, and that was it. And uh, it was interesting too, cause I was in I was in the uh, nail salon, cause I'm a nail fix. It's the one. It's fine now. It don't hurt. It feel good. And uh, it was a sister that has been watching me since California. She lives here, y'all. She Black American. I'm interviewing her, cause she from South Carolina. She got her South Carolina accent. She here by herself, renting an apartment Kumasi by herself. This is her third time here. No, she's phenomenal. You want to talk about somebody y'all want to see that's doing the damn thing? She was doing it. And I love it. It was funny because, and I know you're watching, I hope you are, because it's funny. She, the ladies were, she, she is the designer, obviously, because she was having her nails done in a very specific way. It was very beautiful. And the woman, they kept telling her that, no, we mixing the color. We's going to be right. She said, no, no, I know it's not going to be right. I need that color. Give me that color. And then... She finally gave in, and they convinced her that I promise you it's gonna be okay, and it and it wanted being beautiful. And she laughed and said, "I should have just been patient." Yes, she did. I just needed to sit here and trust y'all, trust the process. She said, "I should have just trust y'all." That's why it's me mold, Barry. It's you, you the mold. You know what I'm saying? Like it was just such a revelation. And everybody, we all just kind of laughed because. It's like patience and it's also trusting the process. That it's all good, that the way it's going is perfect. Because what you, you, if you don't trust the process, what will happen is you think you should have left everything alone, which means you think you shouldn't have took a chance because it didn't turn out the way you thought it would. And that will cripple your ass, don't do it. It's like the universe saying, do you trust that this is going to be amazing and beautiful? Like y'all said, stay with your vision. Stay with your vision. The way I stay with my vision with the, with the athletic clothes that didn't work out completely, and I stayed in my vision with the robes and the aprons. I mean, I was so still thrilled, wasn't I? I was happy, even though there were some things that need to be changed. I'm not giving up on a vision. We can do it better. We can stitch it better. We can get a sewer that sews better. Stay with the vision, and that takes patience. Staying with a vision takes patience. It takes patience. You're right. Go to sleep, chill, or go in the kitchen, have fun, do what you do, you know, give thanks, and know that it's all good. I got to close these windows. That's why I could hear everything, too. And stay with the vision. I have never in my life Heard nobody playing no dang rap music in front of my thing. But this part of the patience visit, what's going on? I don't like rap. Okay. I know I ain't black, but I'm old. My, my 50 year old mind can't do the rap. This is too hard. Um, so, yeah. I just want you to know that. It's all, today was the day. So, yeah, Kwame came and said, and then I was telling you what else I had to be patient with. I can't, I think I remember. Oh, and that's another thing. We were in Mimo Berry for a long time because that means she's hot like that. She's amazing. Everybody loves her. And I only had one nail, but I had to be patient. And I saw how actually patient I was. 
that no matter what I thought I had to do, because I really didn't have anything I had to do, it just all worked out. It just all worked out. And this is working out too. And I think another thing too is a lot of times, things could be like, we could do something in the room, like I said, and the cabinets could be funky and beautiful, and we'll focus on the thing that's not working instead of focusing on the things that are. I mean, when I look at these shades, they're stunning. They're just not for these rooms. They're stunning, but not for the blue room. The blue rooms, and apparently the yellow room, needs shades that are open, just like Zumba Queen 7 said. And the, the bathroom, really, that's quite bright. I mean, I talked about I want this teak wood and the flowers, and I wanted that zen-like feeling. And I even mentioned this place in San Francisco I'm trying to go to called Kabuki Spa, which was a bathhouse. Believe me, them lights wasn't as bright as the bathroom. They were dim and just tranquil and beautiful. Don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. That was our lesson in uh, releasing our attraction or healing our attraction to divine masculinity. I'm sorry, that would be really actually nice. <laughs> to toxic masculinity. And uh, don't throw the baby out with the bathwater. It ain't all bad. It's actually all good, but if you don't have patience, you won't see it. If you don't have patience, you won't see, like some of y'all got lots of patience because you're saying it, you won't see that it's really, this is really all good. This is really beautiful. And, it's, and you just gotta have patience. And do what you, and if, if you're a person like me who needs to make something happen now, because that's just who you are, well, go make something happen now. I'm going to be up. Put your curtains up just because that make you feel good. You're not doing the top anymore. The curtains can go up. You know, put the table back in with the tablecloth that actually has the red. And imagine it the way you saw it. Like I said, don't lose sight of the vision because there's going to be visions Bigger visions even. But because you can't see it, you're going to be like, ah, it never will work. Or I can't see it. It's not getting there. You're going to have to be strong. And patience is about strength. And strength is about patience. I see that now. Patience is a, a sign of strength. Not weakness. Like I thought. And in some cases, yes, yeah, excuse, and it's, it's procrastination. It's everything Zumba you said and everybody else said and it. And I think I said it too, for sure. But this is not the patience. They said, no, 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 no. That patience, you shouldn't even call that patience. When people tell you that, they tell you, right, you feel like that you can't, you know you can, then you do. But patience enough to stick with the vision. That's the patience. Don't give up. Oh, I forget it. Just do it all right. No, no. That wasn't, it. That wasn't your plan. And you see how beautiful that chair look. It look exactly the way you want that cabinet to look. That's it. It looks exactly, that's the, what you want the cabinet to look like. And you ain't going to have patience. You're going to give up when you know you can buy some dang paint. And you can get the, this is in Ghana. You can get the same paint. You saw the paint. You see the paint every day. You ride in Ubers and taxis every day. That's how I know the green paint. That's how I know because I saw it. That's how I knew they, I was like, I know, I know I saw the paint because they have it on the, on the shops. This is, this is patient. Stay patient with your vision. Y'all do not give up. It may look crazy. It may look like it's not going to work out. It may look like you made some mistakes, but I promise you, it's, you did not. You did not. So we're going to give thanks. We're going to get praises. We're going to, the rap music is gone. <laughs> Talk the rap music out. The rap music is gone. And Patience, I know with the, the, the sister that I don't see her comment anymore. She must have took it away herself. Isn't that funny? And the brother with the name Africa. I don't know the African brother. The ones with Africa. They, the definition of... It's a shame that, you know, and that's the Patience, though, that... It's like me. I, I don't want to not see the beautiful cabinets or not see even the idea because the yellow's ugly and it's not in this order. Just like somebody who can overlook everything you're saying, doing, but your nails are long. That's just the craziest thing. So, I got it. I'm going to have some fun tonight. I'm going to enjoy life. And also, this is another thing I know, is that everything's an illusion. We know what this color is. 
So it's an illusion that it's not that color anymore. It's an illusion that it's dark in here. I mean, if you go on a deeper level, it's an illusion because we know just by taking off the shade, it, everything goes back to the way it used to be. So what else is an illusion in our life? What else is a shade that just needs to be taken and changed and then it'll be bright again? So watch the way we go into darkness as if it's our reality. It's just a place you visit and it could be a very wonderful place to visit. And I'm going to visit that today. I'm visiting. I'm ready for I'm ready for I'm ready for the beauty, but I got to be patient because if I can't be patient with my own vision, <laughs> Hallelujah. If I can't be patient with my own vision, I'm, I'm, I ain't going to make it out here. I ain't going to make it out here. I got to be patient with my own vision. And this is my opportunity to do so. I'm going to go put some stuff away because that makes a girl feel better. I, I got to do what I could. That's, uh, that's my thing, you know. And I'm going to beautify where I can. And uh, it's going to look divine. It's going to be so dope in here. Magazines are going to want to come and photograph in my house. I'm going to tell you that right now. Actually, I, I met the photographer, 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 the photographer again at Mahogany. And he told me his process. And he said that most of the items for the website, we're going to go to the studio. He's such a professional. Like I said, look on Foodie Central Ghana, dot com Ghana. Um, Beautiful photos. And then he said, and the stuff that's obviously needs to be viewed because they're curtains and they look better in the environment is what he said. The bed, he's going to come here. But he got all the perfect lighting. Don't forget that. He got the most beautiful. Yeah, he got the lighting. It's going to look beautiful. So in a sense, he's taking photos. He's taking photos. So those photos, if they look as good as I think that he is because I saw his work, um, and the he got a real studio. You're going to see everything on the big screen, and then we, they touch it up. I'm going to save those photos for the coffee book, table book. The coffee table book is coming. See, that's why you can't give up, because then you don't go to the further thing and the next thing. That kitchen is going to be a Ghana kitchen. It ain't even, it ain't even done yet. Because some things, too, another thing I learned, perfection and I mean, I don't mean that nothing's wrong, perfection, but that place where it's obvious that this is something special. Sometimes that takes time. It's like I got to learn everything. Everything you touch is not just going to be like, woo. So I'm going to be like, woo, but it need a little work, but it's still woo. So anyway, you know me, I always, always spiritual, always spiritual, always spiritual. But thank you, ladies. I want to thank y'all. Because y'all, I mean, I mean, for most of y'all, all I heard was, all I heard was, stay with the vision. Don't give up. And Sheila, Sheila, yeah, Sheila Leopard, you always tell me that. And I, I mean, you don't know how amazing those words are every single time you tell me. Stay with the vision. It's good. It ain't nothing. It's just patience. It's just patience. The truck was huge, and it was only those, that one word. I ain't never seen nothing like that in my life. I mean, I, that's like standing witness. That's like a testimony. I have to tell y'all that happened. That should, like, just make us all think about the divine and the ancestors in a whole nother way. If you ever thought you were alone. If you ever thought you was, like, this is not, there's no punishment. This is somebody loving on you. They saying, look, sister, where are you going? The, the circles, the places, the things, you're going to have to have patience because you are going to perfect. It's going to get better. Don't give up. You're in the right direction. Keep going. So I'm going to keep going. In my womb room. The lighting though, I mean, let's face it, on the spotlight level, on the spotlight level, that's some good ass light. Okay, anyway. Anyway, yo, let me go this, let me go do some in this kitchen. All right. Yes, ma'am. Lisa Marie said, What's the company? What's the company? Woo! I was like, yeah, the company was patience, girl. Ebby the pro the prude. Hey, sis. Uh Bliss B uh peace and calmness is priceless. Yes, it is. 
Um, he says, yeah, your man Ab was on point, becoming an observer of oneself. Yes. Look how chilled you are, even without your music. This is true. This is true. That room will put you there, won't it? Wisdom come through. Hallelujah. Beautiful, powerful. Yes. Thank you. Bright Brothers, that was so deep. You are truly blessed, Lisa. I'm starting my second business, and that really touched me being patient with my vision. Yes, that's what it's saying. I'm so glad. Congratulations. Bliss B says, yes, coffee table book. That's right. Patience with the vision. That's right. Message received. Yes. Right. Thank you. Sheila, yes. Speaking to my situation right now, I'm so glad. Apparently, all of us, huh? Because we all feeling it. Bliss B says, I was thanking the ancestors through a recent trial, and while in my drive home, something told me to look up, and right then and there was a billboard stating, we are here. Woo! I can feel the chills. Oh, she said, I was blown away. Girl, I feel it. That was for all of us. I mean, those chills are so deep in me. I need to take a moment of ancestors. You brought them with us. You brought them in this in this live stream today. You brought them when you said that. Whew. That's deep. Yes. This is amazing, Lisa Marie. Patience. Great message. Yeah. My Lord, bless be right, fly books. Woo! We are here. We all feel that. We all had them ancestral visitations. And that patience. And I, at least I was small enough to go to the restaurant and say, I think I need to call my girls. I said, I need y'all right now. I know it's a message as big as day, but how? And y'all was coming with it. And the whole day played out to the end of the day. It would not be right that all the colors would have been in the right place. That the yellow would have been. Because I wouldn't have got a chance to go this deep. And that I didn't get to go in the womb. This is good stuff, y'all. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. I'm very excited. I'm going to have my herb tea, my little knock-me-out tea, but not yet because I need to go in the kitchen and do a few things because I just have to have fun. This is the fun part. This is me just having fun. This is not correcting anything, but I get it, and I think I'm going to get it more. I don't, I don't, I have a feeling this ain't over. This patience situation, I just have a feeling we've only just begun. But uh, I think it's going to be nice. And I feel like just the love that Kwame felt and the calmness that my patience was able to give someone else and then give it back to myself, I feel very settled. Like, that's patience you was talking about? I, I know that feeling. It's a settlement, I want to say, a settling where you right where you are. It's like an almost an elder sometimes, the way they sit or they hum, that moment of patience. You know when I get that feeling the most? And I tell us, I've been saying this to you a lot. When I'm driving home from a long, beautiful day and I'm in the taxis or the Uber, I don't know. First of all, it's like the men are driving and they know exactly where they're going. They're leading the way. I never get scared in the cars. I never like feel like I can't get home or what if this. I've never. It's the most relaxing ancestral feeling is the nighttime at the end and me going home first of all to a home that I absolutely love when I walk in the door and I want to say this too you know Afrocentric Home Decor and all my designing ladies and you know the sister today even to you like is this important very important don't you ever think that I'm renting so I can't make it the way I want it because you're saying you're not important enough like I did, I told you, I said that I'm not going to be here long. Then I lived in that apartment for 16 years and never really fixed it up. Just, just missed, not missed out, but so much I could have did. Cleaned it and kept it nice, but never because I was moving. And the idea that you are renting as opposed to you own, well, most people I know in this lifetime, this don't really, they, well, when they say they bought a house, it ain't buy it yet. And I know a lot of people who have so-called bought a house, but you know, mortgaging a home, put thousands of dollars into it, lost it through foreclosure, lost their jobs, had to give it up anyway. Even all of it is an illusion. The idea that if you own it, but you don't own it, because we know how to, I mean, in, in Ghana, you actually can own a home and own your land. But because of the mortgage system, I don't, I'm sure Europe has probably the same mortgaging system, 
you never, you may never own it. So when you're taking and building and adding an additional to the house, you still, it's not yours. So you're, why is the, you see how it is? You see how people playing tricks with their own mind? It's not yours either. I know many people that lost their home and put in thousands of dollars that you can't get back. The day you own the house is a beautiful feeling. The day you own the car and you get the car usually before the house because some of these mortgages are 20, 30 years. So the idea, you got to look at that. The renting own, that's an illusion. That's a title. That's not really true. Your space is your space when you're in it, period. Do not, because those people will wait for every, wait when the perfect time for this and the perfect, don't do that. And that's something that I want to say on this channel. Please do not wait. Some of you have been renting for a long time in the same place, and you know it's true. So for when I thought it's how I wanted to say, oh, baby, girl, or sister, or maybe you're an elder, you know, queen, like, don't do that to yourself. Don't let renting stop you, because when you're mortgaging, you might as well say you're renting, too. It's only yours till you miss a payment or two, and you out. But yet you put in all that same money. And probably more because some people do plumbing over. Some people put in a new roof. Or y those that have homes, y'all know all the stuff that you do for your home. But it ain't really yours. So that's a, that's a mind game. That's a trick that they're playing with you. That ain't yours in this one. Or you can look at it as both yours. And I would rather look at it that way. So if you are renting and your landlord is not opposed to you making changes, make those changes. And sometimes it's not like you gotta take out the cabinets, which literally I didn't even do. There's no doubt that this looks better than it did when, when I first came in. There's no doubt that it's gonna look beautiful when I leave. No doubt. And remember them, they don't, <laughs> I live in an apartment building, they don't paint over nothing. You know how, like, in, okay, maybe in the States, I know in the States for me, when you leave, no matter what, even if they, you left it the same white or off-white you got it, they paint for each tenant. They don't do that here all the time. They tell you it's as is. So somebody going to come in and be very happy with these walls. Give thanks and praises. Give thanks and praises. 32 people, six thumbs up. Thank you for joining us tonight. We are in the womb, and it's called patience. It's a patient womb. It's a patient womb. Yes, that was beautiful. You gave us some near, Queen. Bless be, you gave us some near. Right. I was silent for the rest of the ride. That's right. Stunned that they would speak directly to me like that. And then you're on here talking about patience, blessings, or Queen. What? Queen Lex says, speak, sis. Yes, bless be said, it's not yours. It's the banks or whoever your lender is. But people do feel superior to others. Isn't it amazing? If they have a mortgage rather than renting, exactly same thing. Thank you, Lisa Marie. Yes, fly books. Right, Bliss. That's right, Queen Lex says. Queen Lex, I always side eye people like that. Why do you need to feel superior? That's true. Why can't we all just go through life being happy for ourselves and each other? That is just such a beautiful place and a beautiful heart. Miss Lady Blue World says, very true. We've been renting our house since 2004. Let's tell the truth. We painted and fixing it up to our liking. We got to. That whole, I'm going to not do anything. Don't do that. You might be in there for a lifetime. Flybook says, Queen Lex, yes. Bliss B says, so true. I know that was so beautiful. She said, that's right. Qua 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 hey, how are you, brother? Mortgage is an illusion of inclusion. Come on. Let's speak about it tonight. Patience is a virtue. The movement. The movement, you started this, and I want to thank you. I've been looking for you. I hope you looked at the other videos because they're all dedicated to you in the most positive, loving, and beautiful way. Sis, did the movement, did you hear when you told me patience is a virtue and I wasn't ready? And I told you I went outside in the big truck, only words I had on it was patience. How, what? Did you, get, did you watch this all day? The two hardest tests on the spiritual road are the patience to wait for the right moment and the courage not to be disappointed when what, with what we encounter. Exactly. Ms. This is very true, people. I know who own houses think they're on top of the moon. So is that what it is? That's what, what people try to... Because nobody say, you know, you don't own this. Why are you putting so much into it? And I thought, because I'm here. That's it. 
I didn't own any of the places I lived in. Y'all saw me put everything into it. And do you think I left and said, I regret that? You know how little I regret it. I gave it, I keep giving every. I gave, I gave mostly everything away, even all the apartments that I was in, I gave it away. It's beautiful. But I, I really tonight, now tomorrow I may pull out some other patients, but tonight was patience in your dreams. Because y'all saw me trying to say, forget it. The red, yellow, and green, it just didn't work out. It just didn't work out. I'm just not going to do it. I'm just going to do it all red. You're like, hold on to the vision. And I heard Spirit say, be patient with your vision. And I know that that spoke to a lot of people tonight. Be patient with your vision. Don't give up. It's coming. It's coming along. It's beautiful. Even the idea, don't think about giving the shades away. You don't have to. They're waiting for them in the bathroom. They're perfect in the bathroom. Give yourself some time. Don't give up on yourself. Be patient with your vision. So I'm good. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go to yellow paint tomorrow. And it's funny because I woke up this morning and I know Kojo said, isn't that something, y'all? And another thing, always listen to spirit. Because that spirit told me, Kojo said, uh, remember he kept saying, so you know the woman to paint the yellow one, paint the yellow one? I kept saying, no, the yellow one's fine. And then to, I was like, okay. I, let, I said, okay, but I, I couldn't sleep last night. And so I got up this morning and I called him right away. I said, hey, Kojo, I really don't want the yellow room painted. I don't. And you'll see that paint. No, that yellow room would have been, I would have. <sighs> Spirit said the yellow room, don't do it. It was another thing too, like I said, I was supposed to work with, but spirits keep telling me to stay with where I was. There's so many ways. So many things that I could tell y'all that. You're not going to always follow everything spirits say the moment is said. You're not going to always do that. But you do, you following a lot of it. And that's what I'm saying. Like, am I going to look at the red, yellow, and green being in the wrong place and the yellow not being yellow? Or am I going to look at the fact that that red cabinet was what the whole thing... I forgot about the first three. I came later. And how well that worked out. And given things that I knew not to paint the yellow room, that it was perfect the way it was because that paint wasn't right. That's another thing. How many things that we've listened to that, we, that was right on? In other words, the ancestors are talking. And all we got to do is listen. And, and one way or another, they love you so much. Like, y'all, it's not getting it wrong. You don't get it wrong. You can never get it wrong. And I heard that from the law of attraction, but it's the first time I understand it. That's the other thing I want you to know. You could never get it wrong. Because I, I think patience means something to everybody else. I still don't think the patience means don't move forward. Because like I said, if I was patient, as many times as people tell me to be patient, we would not be in Ghana, West Africa doing this right now. And, I, and, and one of y'all said this to me. I don't necessarily think, I think if that kind of moving forward makes you feel good, it's not that. And I can't remember what sister said that. And you said maybe it's being patient with people. Or you said, and somebody else said, Kiba said maybe it's being patient, patient with the process. And all of that. And then I, today, I had to be a patient with the people. Today, I had to be patient with the process. And I'm still having to be patient with the process. That it's just the process. Just be patient with it. You got it. But the thing I got the most, because y'all saw me, I was going to let go of the whole thing. And y'all said, be patient with the vision. And that was it. That was it. That was it. I got it. Right. So the movement, now let me tell you, now I'm not saying you're not right, because it's true. So you said patience is not an absence of action. Rather, it is the timing that waits on the right time to act for the right principles in the right way. I don't know how, I, I don't, I'm, that's now, I could be wrong, but I want to say that doesn't resonate with me. That doesn't resonate with me. Because it's saying that there's a, that you did it, it was wrong, the wrong time. That was the wrong time. You, you did it at the wrong time. Or you was wrong with the timing. Or even that you rushed it. See, I don't think that the universe, I think that the universe allows us to move forward 
Because even in the rushing, you learn something valuable. So I, I but I, I, and I'm sure you're saying another way because that what you say, I like better that to me. I mean, it's all different. It could be work and it could work for you. It could work for me as well. Because I still go back and I still keep hearing spirit says, it doesn't mean that if you feel it, go for it. If you feel it, go for it. Don't ever talk yourself out of that which you feel. Because then what happens is, you, we look at it this way. If I, go, if I feel it and I go for it and it doesn't work out, we start thinking we failed. And I'm hearing spirit said, no. That's y'all, y'all got this, you did it right, you did it wrong, you did, it's not wrong. You did it, it, lo it looked like it failed, but it didn't. It made you think of something else. It made you say, you know what, let me go, let me, wait a second, what could I do differently? How can I do it differently? Because for me, when I look in the kitchen, I would take you in, but I, don't have, I got a low battery right now, I'm plugged in. It's just, that ain't the right yellow. But all for the last few days, I'm telling you, Kojo came in and he said, let's just paint the whole house. And I said, oh, not the yellow room. I don't need it. Then he said, you sure? You know, we can come over the next day. Paint the whole house. I said, oh, no, I don't need it. And finally he said, come on. I said, okay, I gave in. But I woke up today and Spirit kept saying, do not, do not, do not paint the yellow room. Just say no. Trust me. And I said, no, let's not do the yellow room. I'm for sure, for sure, for sure. And when I look at that yellow paint, I go, oh, Lord, have mercy. That would not be cute in that yellow room. I'd be, I'd be, I mean, it's just paint. But since I don't know the paint in the yellow room, I don't even know what paint to get. I don't even know the paint in the yellow room. So I don't, um, I think the patient is be patient with your vision. That just because you leaked doesn't mean, because a lot, and I feel like that, I think a lot of people are going to come to Ghana and they're going to think that they made a mistake and that they should come back because it's not what they thought it would be or they didn't work it or the vision as they saw it didn't come to pass. But that's what I'm getting. Be patient with your vision. You are in the right place. You stepped in the right place. You did it the right time and the right way. But the way it's just going it's just some more things that you gotta gather and you gotta learn in order to move forward. And you are moving forward. I've never like I think that if anything, I I, I don't know. Like for me, I I like my and that's the other thing, you know, the whole thing is do you like your trajectory? I love my trajectory. It's probably the thing in my life I'm most proud of. You could tell if you could notice, I'm proud that I didn't listen to people that said have patience. I'm like most proud of that because I, I know where I am and I know what I'm doing and I know where I'm going and I love it. I love it. So, but I feel you. I feel you. I, I, I mean, you know, of course, I, was here. I don't quite feel you, but, I, and again, I'm open to where you going and where you are. So, but I hear you kind of. Sort of, and maybe tomorrow I'll hear you more. Right. Okay, Flybook says 100. Yes, yes, Lisa Marie. Spirit said to me, she's going to know to wait with the Ashanti room. Patience. So beautiful and grateful for the space. Oh, yeah, I was not doing the room. No, I was meaning it more than two. Oh, okay, got you. Me, Darcy Pot. Thank you. Yeah, I agree with you. Our intuitions of our strongest power is true. At least B, Bliss B, sorry, says everything is a lesson when we're paying attention. Intuition, yes. Hashtag the movement, yes. Uh, truth at the movement says fly books navigating. Yes, first mind tells the truth always. Yes, somebody told me that once at fly books, never second guess yourself. Never, if you feel you when you said some people are going to get to Ghana and think they made a mistake, moving to the continent is a lot. Yeah, I feel you. Say, they're gonna think that they're gonna be like, I made a mistake, I shouldn't have did it. And then they're gonna go back and think about all the people that told them not to do it. I'm telling you, that one, I could, I, because I've been a lot of places and did a lot of things. You got to, do you know, like I said, the very people that told me to be patient, they looking at me going, look at you, look at you. 
that matter of fact, the sister from New York, we're going to interview her. She is bad. She better than me. She came by herself. She by herself. She doing her own thing. But she asked me, too. She said, uh, so when you going back? Because she's going back. You know, she got some business to take care of. She's coming back again. But she said, when you going back? I said, I, I mean, the first thing that came to my mouth, I said, never. I think it's surprising. I don't, I didn't know. I mean, I've heard a lot of people say, yeah, um, I'm going, I'm leaving. It's another woman, from not, not even from the States. I think she was going back to Germany. But she's black, and she's actually biracial, I could tell. But she said, uh, she said, um, yeah, I was one of those people. I, she said, you know, I was waiting patiently for the borders to open. So there are a lot of people that got to go home, first of all. They got business. They got family. They got children. So let's be real. That's fine. Everybody ain't going home because they scared. People coming back and trying to make it happen. People coming back to buy land. Some people, and I, I suggest that too. Some people are visiting several times and hooking things up in order to come back. But I think it always surprises people when I say, I ain't going back. I ain't going back. It wasn't, I wasn't stuck. I wasn't stuck. I wasn't waiting for the borders to open up. I wasn't, it wasn't that. Follow your heart though, because if you have to go back, you're not a failure either. So it's all good. It's all good. But yeah, but yeah, I just want to say the movement, the movement's right. Although the movement is the movement. So you definitely like the movement. If it's an inter intuitive movement, patience is everything. Patience is everything. But like I said, I, I think too, when I hear patience, it's, it's so much trauma from that word for me. Because I feel like when I was doing that spiritual specific work, everything was be patient and it drove me crazy because I was going against my own intuition trying to be patient the moment that and I think that my ex my ex was the he would always say this is gonna happen when it happens oh I don't like that part I don't like that so every nothing never just you just waited for I suppose you just it just and it never happened when I left that relationship, I vowed that if I felt it, I was going to do it now. I vowed, y'all. I was like, you know what? He can sit there and just wait for some stuff automatically to happen. But I need to make it now. And I, and I, I, I don't know. It's just been working for me. But I'm going to be patient with the process. All right, y'all. Thank you so much. Do you have a P.O. box? I do, and it's in the description box. I'll make sure I'll stay up a little later and put it in the description box. Okay, Pat? I promise you. And Unity Art Process. No, wait, Unity Art. Unity Art. No. No, I don't want that. Undo. No. Oh, God. No, I got to undo that. How do I undo that? Okay, I need to undo something. Damn. So I unmute, I, I, I hit somebody's message and I don't know how to not to hit it, hide it. So maybe somebody can help me. Okay, I'm so sorry. Unity Art Pieces. I'm going to put you back in. Somebody tell me how I get her back in. Yes, that's right. First, my tells you, yes. I feel you when you said you would peep. Yes, we need to put our message back. Okay, going against your intuition is one of the most anxiety-producing things we can do itself. Oh, my gosh. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you buying lately? So eventually one day. I haven't found the right one, and I don't think I found the right time. So I think that's what's happening for me. I haven't found the right time. Oh, somebody tell me if you hide somebody's comments, can I ever get those comments back? It said undo, but it didn't give me a chance. So let me know, because Unity Art Pieces was hidden by, I didn't mean to do that. And it won't let me get back in. So I got to figure this out. I got to figure it out. But, yeah, I love y'all. Thank you so much. I'm going to go have some fun in the kitchen, and I'll see y'all in the morning. Oh, I need rest. All right, ladies, like, share, subscribe, comment. I'll put everything in, in the description box. I'll stay up a little bit and do that. Uh, and we are going to thank you, the movement, though. You started something beautiful. Go back and watch. All of them are entitled with patience, and they're all dedicated to you. You got to see what happens. So funny. Yep, some people wait out of fear. That's right. If you know it's right, do it even if you're scared. Yeah, I mean, most people that I know, they do it out of fear. I wish I could tell y'all when I first got here, 
and I was like, I'm going to stay. And then I was like, oh, you know, I want to do these certain things. They was like, well, just have patience, little by little. Just go back and forth to the States. You know, you don't have to decorate right now. Just have patience. They stopped saying that about the third curtain. They was like, she on to something here. She on to something. Y'all, I can't not not decorate. Like, I cannot not keep going. Like, creativity is the most joyful expression of myself. It is the most freeing, and I like as we get deeper. It all comes. I'm telling you, my ex was the most. I never saw nobody not do anything but wait, and that's okay because it worked for him. He was as happy, and it, it. You want to talk about the now moment? He was always in it. I was always that person that kept saying, "Is this the best it's gonna be? Is this really fulfilling? Is there more?" That's me. I'm the. Is there more? What are you wearing? It looks beautiful. Oh, you didn't see my outfit. It's nice, but you know, I'm going to take it off because I've been in the house too long. All right, ladies. I got it. Sister, peace. I'm going to find out how to put you back on so you are not muted. That was an accident. Thank you. Check out the videos. You're going to love it. You started a, you, the movement. You started a movement. When you see how miraculous. It's the one at the restaurant, the first one. It's all dedicated to you. And I thank you so much because you are a very spiritual sister. And the fact that you can practice patience even when you feel like you want to move forward or backwards or whatever, because that's all patience in that. But you know how to say, I'm going to be cool until I know it's the right time. That's amazing. That's a very, very deep place. Very deep place. And I'm... Um, I may yet to get there. I may never have to go there. I may have been there and don't even know it. Love you, sis. Love you all. Peace and blessings.